just saying that I don't know why, but I feel like the zoo should sell hot dogs. It's just an appropriate food to eat while you're at the zoo with hot chips. It's not the things inside my head that keep me going. Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it. Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me. But I believe in something bigger. So Kess discovered this sugarless, oh, it's sweet enough. It's like equal and it's like stevia, but it's liquid. So it's like super easy to just like put in your drinks. You just like go dit, 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 instead of having to rip open the equal packets and then like get it, you're trying to sprinkle it and it goes everywhere, you know, just quick little drops in there and then that's it. All right, this is my outfit for the day. Got my new gray ABW track pants, which are on their way. This is the second sample that I got just so that I could see the colors. Jordan's, Nike t-shirt, and I'm rocking the old camera handheld. Little handheld. All right, we just got to the zoo, and it is a fine day in Melbourne. We've struck gold with the weather. And I think the rest of Melbourne has realized that too because the car park is completely full. So, looks like it's gonna be a busy day. Uh, we just got into the zoo. He said it takes about three hours to go and look at everything. So, we got a whole day ahead of us. All right, here we go, we're going trekking. We've got Maria, our guide, who's been here tons of times. Quote for quote. <laughs> I think we're going to the gorillas first. What was that? Rainforest, double security door. One door at a time. Welcome. All right, we're well and truly in the forest. Now, look at the bamboo. Oh, I love it in here, it's just so beautiful. I don't live in here. Look at the hippo. Oh, he's running at us. It's coming. He loves you, Tess. What a head. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Oh. Just call me Eddie underscore butterfly catcher. I'm just saying that I don't know why, but I feel like the zoo should sell hot dogs. It's just an appropriate food to eat while you're at the zoo with hot chips. Don't you agree? Agreed. Well, look it up on the map. See if there's a food court. Hey, look. It looks like there's oh, food right here. Food right here. Imagine they're just a big hot dog sign. No, no, no. I kind of feel like I've just met. What kind of a sign? Like a hot dog? No, we love a hot dog, but hands. Uh, we'll go look at what they got over there, Mum. Oh, that's where that guy bought that popcorn. Yeah, I'll get you one. Don't you worry. Hot dogs for life. Hot dogs are life. Hot dogs are life. Can't be walking in the puddle to go have a look at my Jordans. Oh yeah, I can smell it. Look at that. Massive. Just letting out a tank. Beautiful. So we're trying to make imitate the sound that a kookaburra makes. Oh, psycho. Yeah. Oh, he grabbed some toilet paper or something. So the kookaburra. Why are you eating toilet paper? Because. <laughs> How does it go? I'm not doing that. <laughs> Show them the kookaburra on the thing, Mum. Oh, it's so kookaburra. It's a kookaburra. It goes. Oh, oh. oh, it's a bit hard to see, but there's a big ass giraffe just chewing on the tree here. Oi. Gee, we're in a full middle of Jurassic Park here. Oh, that's the giraffe. 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 No, he's looking at the camera too. He's like, Catch you later, bro. He's like, I'm out. You're not taking no photo of me. There's no trees up in this thing for me to eat. Maybe I'll wander over to this tree. Majestic little thing. Look at him. Yeah, he's not little. But he's skinny too. He's shredded. Look at his spine. 
song. That's the kookaburra song. These things always remind me of Callum. <laughs> There's big Cal in the tree, he just chilling. It. He's getting a little tickle. He likes it. Hey, smash. Oh, <laughs> the Tasmanian devil here. Oh, shit. It He's just going for a lap. Famously feisty. <laughs> this poor Tasmanian devil just running laps of his enclosure. <laughs> Woo, one minute, ten seconds. That was a quick one. Oh, look at the wombat sleeping. I don't want to make too much noise in case we wake him up. Don't wake up. Don't wake up, little man. All right, we've come into the kangaroo enclosure, and this bad boy is about to take a. On the prowl. <laughs> What are you doing? Is that really how they walk? Nah. What is he doing? You know, I was supposed to walk like that. Stand up tall, man. Stretch your legs what is out. What are doing? Stop pretending. They normally don't they jump around? What's going on? What is he doing? He's He's got oh. He's very confusion. Why are they so little? They have to be in It's a little penguin. What's the big one? It's an emperor penguin in it. Antarctica. <laughs> yeah. That's what normal penguin size is. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought penguins were big. Nah, they're small. Come on, jump on. Okay, when you're walking around the zoo all day, this is how you go home. Piggyback home style. Yet. Hashtag blister life. Hashtag blister life. Hashtag best boyfriend ever. Did you hear that, Eddie? Best boyfriend ever. Meerkat Manor! This is the whole reason I wanted to come! Oh yeah! How cute are they? They look like little millies on, oh, on rocks. Look at that one on its tippy toes. Oh look at them. I love meerkats. I'm a slippery little snake. 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 I'm a snake. I'm a slippery little snake and snake. <laughs> Alright, we're leaving the zoo. That was a pretty fun day. Meerkat Manor killed it. Penguins were alright. What else did you enjoy? The kangaroo were disappointed. Yeah, they're very one disappointed kangaroo. with the kangaroo. Only one kangaroo. But uh, the seal was pretty good too. He was giraffes. swimming. Yeah, giraffes weren't bad. They were sitting in the sun, chilling. But now we're going on a mission to the city. We're going to go home quickly, change our shoes because I got the Jordans on. She got the Air Force Ones. And quite frankly, our feet are hurting from walking around for hours. So we'll go get changed, head to the city, have dinner at South Bank. So we're going on missions today. All right, so Sunday night, 12.02 a.m. So really, it's Monday morning now. I only really just started editing the vlog about half an hour ago at 11.30, which is dangerous because I know when I edit vlogs, I get hungry. And now I'm sitting at the toaster waiting for these crumpets to cook. I need that brain food so I can finish editing this video. But you know, I'm a dork because I love you guys and I want to make sure that this video is up tomorrow morning. Monday morning, people need their vlogs so they can do their cardio. 6 a.m. I know you guys tell me, make sure you upload it before the morning so I can do it when I do my cardio. So that's why comments like that keep me going. When I'm like sitting at the computer late at night, I'm like, shoot man, it's getting late. I think about you guys, they're doing those cardio sessions. Or just getting up early to go to work. And for all the people that are out there that hit the like button before they even watch the video, that's why I stay up late editing these videos for you guys. Considering it's past midnight, means I'm allowed to have my breakfast a little bit early. Huh. Oh yeah, I'm all about that crumpet life. Alright, back to the computer, son. Very sour. So it's 1.30 a.m. just finishing up editing the video. By the time we publish this bad boy, do the thumbnail and get it on the YouTubes, it'll be at least 2.15. That's a good video. If you haven't watched it already, make sure you go and check it out. It's the back video. What's up YouTube? So I haven't vlogged anything all day. It's like nearly 4 p.m. I'm about to go on train. So Monday's a really busy day for me. As soon as I wake up, I literally just hit the computer and I don't leave basically until I realize it's time to go to the gym, which is exactly what happened today. Just to give you the weather update, it's actually not too bad today. It's really cloudy, but like it's not freezing cold. So as you can tell, I'm walking around in short shorts in my house trying to find some clothes to wear so that I can go and train legs. My training splits all out of whack at the moment too, which is kind of annoying, but yeah, anyway, we had a fun day at the zoo yesterday, so I just kind of wrote the day off as a rest day, but that means I've had to push legs back an extra couple of days, so 
What better way to start the week than to eat some quads? Quads. Quads. I got a delivery from Strong Liftwear today, which is also why I haven't really picked out my clothes yet, because I figured I might as well wear something new. Ooh, yes. Hello. White t-shirt. Yes. Camo track pants. White singlet. White t-shirt. Yes. Camo shorts. I love camo. Damn. It's embroidered on the back, not just printed. Oh, so fresh. Swoop on the tail too. Oh, I love it. Oh, my meals got delivered today as well. Jeez, everything's coming today. I haven't even unloaded the fridge yet. I better put these away. I'll get my subs ready. Oh, I've kind of run out of uh, all my strong pre workouts, so I think I'm just going to go a heaping scoop of Max's beta pump. So again, this pre workout's not really high on uh, energy. It's more to do with the pump. So three grams of L-tyrosine. One, two, three. And two grams of agmatine. Here's my workout stack. Run out of carb powder, otherwise I'll be having a scoop of carb powder because it's leak day as well. I'm rolling with the best BCAAs by BPI Sports as well at the moment, instead of the usual amino energy. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just about to head to the gym. My boy Tux is already there. He just messaged me saying, man, I'm outside the gym. I'm like, bro, just walk on in. Alex is already there doing a workout. Phone roll, stretch, and then when I get there, we're jumping into that squat rack, baby. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Cool transition, let's go! And we're at the gym. Looks like we got a new fridge. Yeah, yeah. Scissor door, baby. French door, I think it's called. Oh, who's that? In the corner of my gym. <laughs> it's my boy. What's up, bro? How are ya? Yeah, good, man. Good. Did you warm up and stretch and all that? Yeah. You good? Alright, let's jump into it, man. Alright, guys, so I just did my first set on squats. Last week on 140, so three place I was shooting for four sets of six. This week I'm shooting for four sets of seven. So I just got the seven then, and I just capped it there. So save my energy for the next one, try and hit seven again, again, and then we'll just max out on the last set. Throw in a drop set, try and push that hypertrophy in there as well. So legs are starting to fill up. Start filming our sets now. Out. Let's go to power. Ready? Drive out the box. Boom! One, go, hit it again. Chase it. Go. Two. Easy. Come on. Push it here. Three. Yep. Tight. Good. Up. Four. There you go. And again. Up. 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 Let's go. Two in a row. Ready? Go. Keep the knees out. Chest up. Top. Up. Strong. One. And again. Go. Two. Three. Well, that puffed me out. <laughs> oh man, my quads are cooked already. That's the intensity that I want to get my training back to. If you're a new subscriber and you haven't watched any of my leg workouts before, this is like a step up from what I've been doing recently, but it's a step down to what I'm used to doing from when I was comp prepping uh, a couple of years ago and whatnot. So three plates is kind of like my benchmark. If I can hit eight to 10 on that, I'm usually pretty happy. So since recovering from my knee injury, I'm trying to build that up. Last week I did six reps, this week seven, next week's gonna be eight. And I always throw in that drop set on the end because that's what cooks the quad. 
Alright, so we're going to move on to doing the same exercise as I did in the last leg routine. Leg extension dominatrix superset the lunges. So I'm one set into doing the leg extension superset with the lunges. About to film the second set. Legs are absolutely burning, but I love it. Trying to get back to where we were. Alright guys, so what I'm doing on the leg extensions is the leg extension with a little bit of a drop and then the kick for 20 reps, all right? It probably doesn't really hurt in this particular way until about 10 reps. I'll feel it, but after about 10, that's where the mind really has to take over and you have to fight that burn. Like, I could easily just stop at 10, but pushing into 15 is like already a mental game. Pushing past that last five is where it's at, so. Let's hope that I get it now that I've talked it up. <laughs> I got it on the last set, but what I was explaining to Tux is start with your toes pointing outwards a little bit for the first 10, and then the last 10, point them directly forward so that you're hitting um, the outer part of the quads and the inside BMO as well when you point forwards. Ooh, let's go bro, big sit. While they're burning already, haven't even started, just from sitting in here. Control it down, nice and slow. Squeeze up. Alright guys, so we're just about to start on the leg press. Well, I'll take that back, we've already started. Yes. This is the second set. I hit 20 reps on the first one. I'm gonna go for 20 on this one. If I need to use my hands, I will. I bumped it up, I played each side, but they're 25s, so, so 50 kilos instead of 40 kilos. So an extra 10 kilos. Um, and I'm just focusing on lowering it down as slow as I can and then blasting up, but not locking out my knees to the point where I'm relaxing. I'm only pushing up three fourths, three quarters. <laughs> So that way there's constant tension. As soon as I get to the top, I'm already lowering it back down by controlling it so that I'm not just dropping the weight. That's how you really make that shit burn. All right, let's go. Hopefully I can find the lock this time. <laughs> down. I missed the lock last time. <laughs> now in terms of my feeding position as well, I'm going pretty similar to what I would with the squat. So just a little bit wider than shoulder width so that my knees and my uh, legs can track to the sides of my hips. If I go too narrow, your legs are just gonna squash your hip flexors and you're gonna get pain through here. So I want my legs just to go slightly out to the sides, turning my feet slightly outwards as well. It's gonna allow me to get a little bit deeper and squash this outer quad so that I can build up the sweep for my legs. All right, stop talking and just do it, bro. Go, brother. Big set, you got easy. Show them, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Good. So, I'm 
trying to separate my quad from the hammy. That's why I kind of had my legs come out to the sides and down real deep. Get it real deep. Deep! Uh, yep. I'd say it's working, bro. <laughs> Yeah, they're filling up. Uh. Slight, slightly outwards. No, toes, toes. Perfect. All right, control that shit down, bro. Squeeze. Tempo, good, come on, squash the quad, squeeze. Load it up, load it up, squeeze. And again, straight in, no rest. Good, one more, chase it, chase it. All right, rest at the top. Breathe. Oh, my legs, fuck. Okay, let's go, come on. 10, one. Let's go for five and then use your hands. Two, three. Go tucks, go tucks, four, one more. All right, hands. Five assisted, go, one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, pull down. Yep, good. My man. My man. I love supersetting these two together, which is why when I set the gym up, I put these two pieces of equipment right next to each other. It's good because you just kind of pump rip it. You don't have to really hold it and squeeze on either of them, except for the last five on the abductor. Tux has already gone home because he had to go to a netball game. I'm riding solo now. So the tempo to the abductor is 20 reps, leaning forward as you push out, open up your hips, drop your chest forward and then come back up, bring your knees together nice and slowly. Oh, I nearly just threw up in my mouth. Then you do five reps where you hold it out there for as long as you can, then when you can't do that anymore, you do five pulse reps and that should really cook your legs. Full stack, absolute burn. Guys, that wraps up my leg session for the day. I will admit that I don't think I really ate as much as I should have, nor did I drink as much water as I would have liked to leading into a leg session. So like in my last video, you would have seen that I was, I was I've been sipping on water all day long and today I just kind of forgot, it blew my mind because I was just sitting at the computer all day and I, I didn't really feel up as much as I should have. So it was a really good leg session. Feeling definitely feeling pumped, but I feel like last week I just had that little bit more connection and I'm gonna put it down to not being just quite as hydrated nor fueled up. But at least my strength went up on the squat, so that means I'm progressing, so I'm happy with that. Make sure I just get some food into me tonight and then just push on to the week with a high cal, so. All right, guys, I'm all ready. Got my casual clothes on for a change, so. Got this t-shirt from Culture Kings the other day, and these are the um, Nina Pasadena pants that I was telling you guys about a while ago, that when I bought them, they were like really loose in here and through the leg section because I haven't been able to train legs in like forever because of my knee injury. But considering they've been able to do legs like four weeks in a row now, they fit good. That's how you know you're progressing when your clothes fit better. I'm just going the mild. Yeah, yeah, Mark Lowry. Just a cheeky mouthful. All right, well, we're about to head out. So I'm gonna leave the camera at home, I think, but first, we we'll are gonna do that couple selfie. Go and do like this. Have the lights on. Oh well there you have it. Whoa! Hello. Right there we have it. We've got our selfies in. Bam! Done! That was probably the quickest going out selfie that we've ever done.
Wow, now that was a long vlog. Probably one of the longest vlogs I've done in a long time. Anyway, it's time for a post notification shout out. I nearly didn't even do this because the video was so long, so late at night, but I'm not gonna skip over it because I love my active fam. Today's post notification shout out goes to Brad Kent. He said, awesome vid, been using the shoulder workouts as of late. Mark Lowry, hashtag team active fam. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you want a post notification shout out, all you gotta do is go to my channel, click the bell next to the subscribe button, and then come back and leave me a little comment just like that, and then I'll pick someone out every day. Alright, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Peace. Where are you?